6. The death of 22-year-old rising star Katie Myers has shocked the college soccer world. Tonight we're learning more about the circumstances around her death and the warning signs of someone in trouble. We go live to Sherman Oaks where Fox 11's Hal Eisner has more. Hal? Yeah, such a tragic story. We're on Mulholland Drive in Sherman Oaks. As you look down on the San Fernando Valley all lit up at night, it probably wouldn't be a stretch to say someone down there may be in trouble depressed and, and maybe needing a helping hand. The CDC says suicide is on the rise, has been for a few years. And we now know Stanford student Katie Meyer died by suicide. Katie Meyer was a Stanford soccer star. She was captain of her team. On NBC's Today Show, her mom said Katie died from suicide. She was wearing her daughter's sweatshirt as she struggled to understand what happened. It's going to sound crazy, but every mom is going to understand this. But when you smell it it smells like her it smells like katie <laughs> oh my god first i want to convey my deepest sympathies to the meyer family the tragedy is unspeakable i am all too familiar with the uh unbearable pain and shock they're in ron silverman's son was named matthew he took his own life that was in 2006 i'm in a fraternity that's an involuntary uh, life sentence Others have lost children, they know what I mean. Um, at this stage of my life, I have a broken heart, but I'm able to move on and uh, there's a corner of my heart that's permanently impaired, but I, I've fortunately been able to move on with my life and smile again and enjoy what life has to offer. A year after Matthew's death, Ron started a website called MattsFoundation.org. It has videos. He wasn't open with us about the depth of his depression. And is filled with resources to help others in the same situation. So what are the warning signs for the Katies and Mats in our world? We asked psychotherapist Dr. Lynn Iani. A change in behavior on some level, like if this is an outgoing person, they seem to be more isolated lately. Are they in a situation where they've been depressed for a time? Is there some unusual frustration or activity? Meyer's parents say Katie may have been fearful over a possible disciplinary action by her school. For Matt Silverman, it was a breakup with a girlfriend. Ron Silverman turned grief into action with the foundation in his son's name. So we put suicide prevention programs into high schools and at this point we've probably seen over a million kids around the country and i'm hopeful to say that we probably have saved some lives in that process for anyone who needs help this number is so very important it's the national suicide prevention lifeline the number is 1-800-273-8255 alex and christine uh, these numbers just continue to go up back to you